Alright, so how's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well and great. And today we're looking at the best GPUs to pair with the Ryzen 5 5600. Now, please, if you like the video, press on that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of that kind. All the links to the GPUs that I mentioned will be down in the description in case you are interested. Now, the reason we went with the Ryzen 5 5600 because this CPU goes for $160 right now. Uh, to pair it with a really cheap board will be for around 60 bucks. So the total cost of the CPU board combo is around 220 dollars a lot of people say that why would you pair the cpu with a cheap board well the most obvious reason is that the am4 platform right now is out of date so yeah this pc would last you like two to three years or cpu board combo and you can upgrade to another platform in the future while this board actually handles the ryzen 5 5600 no problem now the second thing is the GPUs and what are the GPUs that are worth getting when you get the CPU. So basically there isn't the best GPU to pair with the Ryzen 5 5600 because uh, there are a lot of GPUs that will give you good performance and they are ranging from $200 all the way up to $500. So there isn't the best one, it's all dependent on your budget and what do you prefer. Do you want to go Team Red which is AMD or Team Green which is Nvidia. But going under this $200 budget or over this $500 budget will not be that much worth it to pair this CPU with any of the GPUs that I'm not gonna mention in this video let's get it with the first option and we have the nvidia rtx 2060 so we're going from the cheapest to the most expensive this one goes for 230 dollars now the reason you'd go for nvidia over amd because it's got the nvidia capabilities so if you really need that for content creation or things of that sort then yeah this is the gpu for you this is the best budget gpu from nvidia in the market right now and in my opinion the best gpu brand new that you can get right now there isn't a lot of things that compete with it in this market it, but there is only one GPU that competes actually which is from AMD which is the AMD RX 6600 uh, now the reason this GPU isn't the most favorable one to a lot of people because it doesn't have the Nvidia capabilities and I mean the MVENC encoder and ray tracing but when it comes to the driver support AMD has been pretty good regarding the driver support recently I've been using AMD for a year now and I don't have that much problems with drivers you know so yeah we're getting really good performance out of your money when it comes to the performance of course you are getting near RTX 360 performance in a lot of games. Now the second two options but there is one GPU in the middle that I'd like to talk about which is the Nvidia RX 6600 XT. If you want to go with that it costs you around $300. It's a bigger bump you know compared to the RX 6600 and it's actually faster than the RTX 3060. Thought I'd mention it, but it's not, you know, my favorite option. But hey, if you have an extra money, go with the 6600 XT, no problems. But the second two options that for under $400, in my opinion, and there's a huge gap between them, let me tell you that. Uh, but yeah, let me just say out of the way, the NVIDIA GPU that you should get for under $400 right now, if you decided to pair it with the Ryzen 5600, is the RTX 3060. Now, I would get this GPU used. I would never get it for $370 right now. I get it for $3. 50 340 i'm okay with that but 370 is a bit overpriced so you look for amazon warehouse deals and maybe some used deals on amazon too if you're interested in amazon and nothing else or maybe some deals on new egg now when it comes to this gpu it's a pretty good one i like it i really love it i'd like to get one myself like i wish i could get something that performs as good as the rtx 3060 and it's from nvidia you know so you're getting really good capabilities you're getting ray tracing you're getting tensor cores uh, dlss you are getting a lot of really good capabilities that you will not get from AMD but if you want the absolute performance I have the best GPU to get right now in the market um, in my opinion it's the fastest not the fastest but the best GPU to get right now it's actually fast it's really fast it's stupidly fast you know and it's priced really good a very hard GPU to compete with a very hard GPU just to overlook which is the AMD RX 6700 XT and in my opinion this is the highest you can go in terms of GPU performance that you would pair with the Ryzen 5 5600 this is a beast of a GPU so we're looking 1440p 4k gaming no problem I love this GPU but the only caveat is for me that it's uh, more expensive than a lot of other GPUs so it's not ranging in my budget but it's more than fine to pair this gpu with your cpu which is from amd a 12 gigabyte gpu 1440p 4k performance no problems it beats the hell out of the rtx 3060 ti it performs as good as the rtx 3070 
I just love it all together and it's one of my favorite GPUs. And the final GPU which is the highest end one uh, which is the NVIDIA RTX 3070. The reason I didn't go with the 360 Ti because it's in a really weird spot. So if you decided to get the RTX 3070 for 500-ish dollars to 550, you're getting yourself a great deal. It performs better than the 6700 XT. It's a very good GPU actually. As an 8GB one, this is one of the caveats. But if you're playing 1440p and maybe light 4K, you are gonna get great experience. And yeah, this is a very good GPU that would complement uh, the AMD CPU. You'll not have the big bottleneck, you know, in 1080p ultra gaming. But this is the highest I would go in terms of pairing the Ryzen 5 5600 with another GPU. This is the highest in terms of performance from NVIDIA. I wouldn't go with the 3070 Ti. I wouldn't go with the 3080. I wouldn't go with an AMD RX 6800. So yeah, that's been it. If you like the video, press on that like button. If you want to see more of that, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.